hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the apex predator billiards training club my name is apex selenia your jamaican aspiring professional pool player and of course pool instructor all right now in today's video tutorial we're going to be looking at a attempted nine ball break and run but in fact it's not really a break and run it's actually a break i didn't i'm not going to pocket a ball on the break but I'm gonna to attempt to try to clear the rock from where the cue ball has landed. But we're gonna be looking at a few things here, such as the controlling the power break, learning how to play position pool, learning how to generate the correct angles, speed control. We're gonna be looking at a little bit of fortune whenever you make an attempt to play an aggressive or, or an offensive shot. And how you can get rewards so there's a couple of things that you guys can learn from this rack and I'm just gonna bring you back to the start I'm gonna be assessing exactly my thought process as I navigate my way throughout this run and we're also gonna be looking at a bad habit that you know usually pops up at the end of the game which you're gonna need to avoid right so let's go we're gonna be looking at this rack and uh, we're gonna be having a great look here all right, so here we go, back to the front of the rack. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start from the front here, and um, of course, I'm just taking my time. There was a little bit of distraction in the background. Pardon me, guys, got a tongue twister there. Uh, we had a few distractions in the background. There was a lot of talking, so I had to mute the background, and that could be one of the contributing factors to why this was not a perfect break and run. But nevertheless, let's have a look here. I'm using the traditional side break here, cutting the one ball, but here I'm gonna be using a power break. And of course, what you're gonna be learning from this, you look at the reaction of the cue ball there. Um, after the break, it hopped into the air. And that suggests that I was using a bit more power than I can actually control. And that is advisable to young players that when you're breaking the game, it's not about the power but it's about the application of the power along with a bit of timing. So you want to avoid using power that you are unable to control. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm actually going to be playing a one rail positional route here that comes off the short rail behind the nine and in between the era, like right here, in between the three and the nine years so I can see a clear shot at the two ball now initially I thought that the ball that is closest to the short rail near to the first diamond here was actually the two ball but in fact after assessing the rack due to the the quality of the, the, the visual uh, I got a bit confused but nevertheless this is a perfect shot here that I'm gonna be playing except though the three ball is a little bit close to the seven so based on the angle that i have here i may have to use a bit of check side spin here so i'm going to be pocketing it with pocketing the ball with inside spin to check the cue ball into the line of the three and that was absolutely perfect that was a great shot there by apex alenia all right got a little bit of fortune though of course it didn't have to turn out this good but um it is exactly as you see it there a plan shot and the desired result was attained now here i have an angle that is leading me away from the four ball that is on the short rail here so i'm gonna get i'm gonna need to get in between the nine and the eight right here but i'm gonna have to go a couple of reels like about let's see here one two three four reels into the line of position for the two ball of course with a little help from the six that was not intended the stroke could have been a little bit smoother but these pockets are four inch tight pockets and i'm playing on a stiff table it's pretty slow so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to use more power sometimes than i can control now here i have an angle that is it's, it's kind of naturally sliding into the six so my aim here is to try to go behind the six ball like about so but i think i catch the rail or i think i catch the rail a bit too early i needed a bit more slide a little bit more draw uh well not really draw but about a little bit more stun 
so I could actually get behind the six and slide down into position on four the five. Unfortunately though, this is where I've landed and now I'm snookered on the five, but this is where you're gonna be seeing sometimes that, sometimes you just gotta let the pool gods take over. And sometimes you just gotta go for a shot that is against the norm. And um, if you play it well, and you hit the cue ball well, you can get some desired results like what you're about to see here. Now this shot is not intended, it's quite fortuitous, but the pool gods favor me and here I'm gonna be attempting to do a jump, a jump back cut, and I'm still trying to hold the cue ball back to around the middle of the table. Do apologize for the distraction there. That's kind of one of the contributing factors to why I did not bury this five ball into the top left. But here we go, jacked up at about 45 degrees, hopping the cue ball here, over the six, into the five. But a thicker hit than what is desired on that five. And so I've landed the cue ball, the five ball, pardon me. One real kick or one real bank on the six, such fortune. But here we go. Sometimes when you get lucky, it is for the best. So here I have a kind of a 20, 25, maybe about maybe 20 degree cut shot on the five here with a bit of distance. I'm close to the rail. So I'm gonna need a smooth stroke here. And bear in mind that I've gotta go one rail past the nine and down towards the middle of the table, like about here. And of course, I just gotta just smoothly stroke this into the pocket here like so. One rail and such nice speed here on the cue ball. Right in that area there. That is gonna give me a natural angle. So all I have to do here is just be a bit of stun follow. I'm being a bit creative here guys. I'm using my left hand. It's a practice session. This is not the usual thing that I would do but I'm feeling confident. Really nice shot there. From the seven onto the eight. I have a little bit of angle here so all I'm gonna do is just kind of just roll forward and get position on the nine so here's what's gonna happen guys I'm gonna miss this nine ball simply because I got a bit too cocky right and then I didn't go through my regular pre-shot routine have a look here I just went down take a couple of warm strokes but I missed one part of the routine and it is just focusing on the contact point Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you think about the content on APB.